postcards from Miguel. Oh, I see that he's traveling in the southeastern part of the country. I wonder how he likes it. Hey, Alicia, I love it here. I love warm weather, I love the beach, and I love the sunshine. I've seen some really cool things so far, like swamps, where moss hangs from the trees and alligators swim in the water. I've also been checking out the ocean, walking on wide beaches and narrow islands. I've been out fishing, but so far, I haven't caught a thing. The southeast sounds like an amazing place. Not only is there plenty of water all around, but wait until you see the mountains. The southeast region of the United States has several distinctive features, such as coastlines, coastal plains, mountains, and wetlands, such as swamps. Those features are examples of landforms, which are the natural shapes that make up the Earth's surface. The southeast is a large area bordered by the Atlantic Ocean on the east and the Gulf of Mexico on the south. There are 12 states in the southeast region, and they are Virginia, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, and Arkansas. A region is an area that shares common characteristics, such as bodies of water, or what people do with the land. A region can be small. For example, the eastern side of the state of Virginia is called the Tidewater Region. That's because many of the rivers there are affected by the changing tides of the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, a state can be considered a region too. The people in a state share a common government. Regions can also be very big. The entire United States is considered a region because the states within it share a common characteristic, the national government. The United States is so big that it is helpful to divide it into parts in order to study it. One way is by grouping the states into five regions. The Northeast, Midwest, West, Southwest, and Southeast. Several of the states in the southeast region have a coastline on the Atlantic Ocean. Coastal areas often get strong breezes, which are caused by differences between the air temperature over the ocean and the air temperature over the land. North Carolina is the home of the very first airplane flight by the Wright brothers. The steady breezes of North Carolina's Atlantic coast help make the flight possible. A gulf is a part of an ocean that extends into the land. The part of the Atlantic Ocean that comes into the land in the southeastern U.S. is called the Gulf of Mexico, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and Florida are states that border the Gulf of Mexico, and they are often called Gulf Coast states. Another major landform of the southeast region is the Appalachian Mountain Range. A mountain range is a string of connected mountains. The land around the Appalachian Mountains is a region called Appalachia. People in Appalachia have traditionally earned a living by farming and coal mining. Alicia, it was hard to decide which mountains in the region to visit, but I came here to the Great Smoky Mountains National Park because I like the name. The people around here call these mountains the Smokies. I wonder why. Hmm, let's see. Well, it looks like that part of the Appalachians got its name because of the fog that often hangs over the mountains. Sometimes the fog looks like smoke, so people call them the Smoky Mountains, or the Smokies for short. An important place in the Appalachians is the Cumberland Gap. A gap is a natural opening in the mountain range where it's easier for people to pass through. In 1775,